It's Brie. Welcome to another one of my Instagram editing tutorials. I want to make sure you're watching this on your phone as it's going to be mobile friendly. Hope you get a lot out of this. Enjoy. I am doing a water collaboration and whenever I'm doing a collab, um, working with a company, I want to do a great job. I want to make my photo visually interesting to my followers. And so for this, I thought I would do something a little different and animate my photo. So before I do any of that, <clears throat> I want to open PicTap Go, which is usually my go-to first process, like kind of where I start first when I'm editing a picture. So let's see here. Um, that's not the one we want. Where, that that was it. You can see we took it's kind of funny shot. We, um, we took one try at that, and she nailed it right in my mouth. Doop doop. So this is the best picture I think, um, and. It, I think that it will animate pretty good. So the lighting was pretty good here. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the editing process on PicTap Go. I like to start with bright side. I like it a little bit better than light. Um, I just like the way it looks better than just adding pure light, but that's a little too much. So I think we just kind of play with this a little bit. Probably gonna wanna go about halfway on here maybe a little over halfway the next um, filter that I like on Big Tap Go would be let's see awake and again I don't I'm probably not gonna go all the way on there just maybe probably about two-thirds in I think that looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and save that <laughs> So now I'm actually going to go into my photos. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just crop that down a little bit. It's a little bit far away. I don't think anyone really cares about the couch here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit, bring this in. And I'm going to pull this down. Let me pull this over a little bit more. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Just so we're a little bit more in focus. Great. So the next app that I like to use, I'm gonna go back to my photography folder, it would be Visco, VSEO Cam. So I think that my feed kind of needed something with a little bit of a busier background. So this picture kind of rounds it out well, so that makes me happy. So I do favor in Visco, there's all different series um, of filters, I do tend to to favor the, the A series and I'm probably gonna go with A6 on this picture I mean it does that's way too much so I think it's just gonna need a little touch maybe you know just over to about yeah, like 1.7 that looks good to me and then I go in this was taken with my iPhone so I'm gonna want to sharpen it up a little bit yeah that looks better just kind of pull that sharp bending tool over just a touch probably going to want to there's a little bit of a green undertone to the picture not too much so I'm going to bring this over just a little bit to the right to add a little bit of pink on my tint yeah I think that looks good and then I'm going to go let's see do I want to warm it up that would be in temperature sometimes I just kind of try things out and see what I think looks best I think just a touch of warm on here and like just barely any I think that looks good yeah so I'm going to go ahead and save that. I always save, you know, actual size as high as I can. Okay, now for the really fun part, we're going to go over to Plotograph. <coughs> so I had a preview here, but we're going to start fresh. So I'm going to pull that picture into Plotograph. So I'm not, I, I wouldn't say I'm a Plotograph expert, but I have some, spent some time over here trying to figure this out. And... What's really important to do is to make sure that you're masking everything that you don't want to move. It took me a minute to figure that out and because let me show you what happened. So if I hit the animate button here over here on the left, so what do I want? I want that water to move. I want it to move down. So if I kind of just put, point that arrow down and I press play, that is just way too crazy, right? That's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back arrow to remove that. So what you need to do, I like to start with, with masking everything I don't want to, 
move. So I'm going to hit that mask button. And my highlighter is very large, and that's fine in the beginning because I'm just going to go ev over everything, and I'm not going to get worry about my detailing too much right now. So as I'm masking everything in purple that I don't want to move, I'm going to be careful not to touch the part that I do want to move. So I'm just going to kind of loosely go around here. And then as I need to get a little more detailed, I'm going to zoom in. So I just use my fingers to zoom in here. And then I'm going to adjust the size of my mask brush. I'm going to make it a lot smaller so that I can control that detail a little bit better. So I don't want my face to move. Let's see here. So I'm just using my finger and carefully just kind of tracing the water here. Don't want my teeth to move. I'm going to even zoom in just a touch more so I can make sure I get it just how I want it. I'm just going to come in. And here we're just going to get this little sucker animated. Okay, let's see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. Oh, I forgot to animate it. Just kidding. I need to press the animate button and then bring that arrow down. That's the way I want it to move. And now I'm going to press play. Yes, that looks, I like that a lot. So that's fun. And it adds, it just, I think that kind of changes it up a little bit. It makes people look at the picture a little longer and, and adds a little whimsy and fun to my photo. So I'm pretty happy with that. So if you scroll over to the left, um, you can actually control the speed of whatever you're moving, animating. So you, I kind of think I like it right in the middle there, but you can slow it down or speed it up, which just looks a little bit too crazy if you ask me. So I'm going to keep it right around five. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to share it. I always share in Instagram. There we go, saved camera roll. And then I can go right to my camera roll. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! So I hope you guys give Plotograph a try and I hope that some of the apps I use to edit my photos help you and have a little fun, get a little crazy and try, get, try to animate your pictures. If you do, and you can tag me in your Instagram, I would love to see your finished work. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, maybe give it a like and even get crazier and subscribe. Bye guys.